Deep Blue Aerospace's Nebula One rocket recently made headlines with its high-altitude vertical recovery test and ambitious leap towards reusable rocket technology. Although the mission achieved 10 out of 11 key objectives, a critical malfunction during the landing phase raised important questions about the future of reusable launches. In this video, we'll dive into the successes and setbacks of the Nebula One test, exploring what these developments mean for the future of satellite launches in the commercial space industry. Deep Blue Aerospace's Nebula One rocket is at the forefront of China's efforts to revolutionize reusable rocket technology. This ambitious project represents a critical milestone in the company's goal to develop an orbital-class rocket capable of reducing launch costs while increasing frequency. The recent high-altitude vertical recovery test conducted in Inner Mongolia was particularly significant, as it marked China's first attempt at validating the technologies required for the vertical landing of a reusable rocket. During this test, the Nebula One completed 10 out of 11 major objectives, showcasing its robust design and capabilities. It utilized the Thunder R engine, which operates on a combination of liquid oxygen and kerosene, an innovative choice that promises high efficiency and lower operational costs. The rocket successfully ignited three engines for liftoff, reaching a predetermined altitude before two of those engines were shut down as planned. This strategic engine management is crucial for transitioning from ascent to descent, demonstrating the rocket's control and stability in flight. One of the key objectives of the test was to verify the rocket's vertical recovery systems. This included the deployment of landing legs and the overall landing procedure. Although the test concluded with a landing malfunction, the successful completion of the ascent and preliminary tasks is a strong indicator of the rocket's potential. The landing legs deployed correctly, and the vehicle hovered above the intended landing area, illustrating the effectiveness of the guidance and control systems. The implications of this test are profound. As demand for satellite launches continues to soar driven by the need for global internet access and data services, mastering reusable technology is essential for companies looking to compete in the crowded space market. Deep Blue Aerospace is positioning itself as a key player in this landscape and the success of the Nebula One will likely shape the future of commercial space endeavors not just in China, but worldwide. While the Nebula One rocket demonstrated impressive capabilities during its test flight, it was not without its challenges. The mission faced a critical malfunction during the final landing phase, which serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities involved in rocket recovery technology. Although the rocket executed 10 tasks successfully, the landing anomaly prevented a full recovery, leading to partial damage. The malfunction occurred during the engine shutdown phase. As the rocket neared the ground, an issue with the thrust control system arose, causing the vehicle to land at a higher altitude than designed. This resulted in a hard landing that damaged the upper section of the rocket. Such technical failures, while disheartening, are common in the development of advanced aerospace technologies. They provide valuable data and insights that can be leveraged for future improvements, ultimately enhancing the overall safety and reliability of space vehicles. This incident underscores the importance of rigorous testing and continuous refinement in aerospace engineering. Each test flight contributes to a deeper understanding of the vehicle's systems and potential failure points. The preliminary data analysis revealed that the anomaly stemmed from an issue in the control commands during the final landing shutdown, highlighting a specific area for improvement in the thrust control mechanisms. Identifying these weak points is critical, as it allows engineers to implement targeted solutions that can significantly reduce the likelihood of similar issues in future flights. Deep Blue Aerospace has announced plans for another high-altitude recovery test scheduled for November, indicating their commitment to learning from this experience. This upcoming test will focus on validating the changes implemented based on the lessons learned from the previous flight. The ability to adapt and improve following setbacks is crucial in the aerospace sector, where innovation often involves navigating the unknown. While the landing malfunction may seem like a setback, it is an integral part of the iterative design process. Each challenge faced adds to the wealth of knowledge that engineers can draw upon, 
fostering a culture of innovation and resilience. The future looks promising for deep blue aerospace, particularly following the recent test of the Nebula One rocket. Despite the challenges faced during the landing phase, the company's plans to conduct additional tests signal a proactive approach to refining their technology. The next high-altitude recovery test, scheduled for November, aims to leverage the insights gained from the previous flight to improve the rocket's performance and reliability. This iterative process is vital for ensuring that the Nebula One meets safety and efficiency standards required for commercial operations. Deep Blue Aerospace is strategically positioned to capitalize on the growing demand for satellite launches, especially as nations and private companies increasingly rely on satellite technology for communication, navigation, and data collection. The company's focus on developing reusable rocket technology is critical in this context. By lowering launch costs and increasing the frequency of launches, Deep Blue Aerospace can offer competitive services in a rapidly evolving market, making it a key player in the global aerospace landscape. China's commitment to expanding its commercial space sector is evident, with significant government support and investment. The recent surge in funding for commercial space endeavors underscores the importance placed on this industry by Chinese authorities. As the country seeks to establish itself as a leader in space exploration, companies like Deep Blue Aerospace are at the forefront of this transformation, fostering innovation and collaboration within the sector. The implications of the Nebula One test extend beyond the company itself. As more private firms enter the commercial space arena, the competition will likely drive innovation, leading to advancements in satellite technologies and space exploration capabilities. This competitive landscape encourages rapid development, with firms constantly seeking to enhance their technologies and services. With the successful implementation of reusable rocket technologies, we may soon see a new era of accessible space travel, enabling not just governmental missions but also private endeavors in tourism and research. So, while the Nebula One rocket has faced obstacles, the path ahead is filled with potential. Deep Blue Aerospace's commitment to learning and adapting positions it well for future successes. The commercial space sector is on the brink of a significant transformation, and as companies like Deep Blue continue to innovate, the possibilities for space exploration and satellite deployment will expand dramatically. In this video, we have learned about the recent test of Deep Blue Aerospace's Nebula One rocket, its achievements, and the challenges it faced during landing. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.